This is Atlantic CDA comparing the Rust programming language to the Python programming language, specifically for the purposes of EDA type programs, with a little bit of segue into general programming applications. So I think it's well documented how clean and well organized Python code is. Uh, typical C programmers uh, often will find frustration with the forced indentation in Python, but I think it makes for very readable code. And when you look at the total hours involved in developing software, the maintenance, the documentation associated with writing code uh, can be substantial. And ways to streamline that or minimize that is very important. Now, one of the drawbacks to Python is that uh, creating standalone programs, it is possible. It's not always the easiest thing. Now, on the right, uh, or excuse me, on the left hand side here, I have written basically the same program that's up on the uh, GitHub repository into the Rust programming language. Uh, just to give myself an idea of uh, the differences and how hard it would be, uh, how easy it would be uh, compared to Python. And if I can say, you know, one of the things that I really like about Python are things like uh, lambda expressions, uh, list comprehensions. Um, and here I basically have a list comprehension um, within a function, if you will. Maybe some dedicated Python programmers would uh, object, but I very much like the, you know, for size and sizes for decade and decades for value in R values uh, type of iteration process. And if this was a dictionary, um, you could have for uh, size and sizes dot items, and you could have something like you know, for key value in sizes.items and iterate through the key value pairs within the dictionary. That, I think, is just in incredibly useful in Python. So over here in Rust, um, it's interesting that, that Rust seems to have been inspired slightly by Python in terms of the iterator type uh, format and I have actually used that in this code where I um, I've used the uh, iter function here and if I can learn how to use this pen correctly but I really like this in terms of being um, you know very compact code expressing you know what the intended purpose is so and when I look at this code I can say for decade in decades dot iter and then generate with a pointer to the decade so I I really like that uh, aspect there's also a uh, similar type of uh, functionality here where I've um, also got a similar type expression. I would say from my experience the hardest thing in Rust is dealing with strings and there's a very strict uh, enforcement of you know ownership and in this case I define a structure uh, and then I had to do um, certain things in terms of how I reference the strings in in the code but you know in terms of uh, basically Rust being C++ with enhanced memory management I, I can see that uh, whether Rust will become a dominant competitor to, to C++ remains to be seen um, if you're starting a project from scratch where you're going to have multiple threads and, you know, memory safety is, is a concern, I can see giving a strong 
consideration to to rust because uh, you know the the syntax and, and the memory management is is fairly powerful and effective so uh, if you've liked this video if you would like to see more on, on this topic um, please let me know I will also uh, put this particular file in Rust onto the um, GitHub repository as a point of reference. And if you've liked this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and thank you very much.